Okay, gonna try to record an intro here before we start. I have never played I Expect You to Die before. I have never tried to stream or record a VR game before, so this might be an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna try to pause the recording here in a second before I start moving over to get the headset set up and all that. Uh, I will not be sitting at my desk for this. I did a bit of a test before stream and there's too much shit on my desk, including my microphone here, that I'm gonna constantly bump into. So I have another much jankier solution. <laughs> Uh, I do have chat. I am going to be able to see the chat in game, but give me a second to go try to set that up and I'll come back and start the live split timer and all that fun stuff. Um, I'll probably need to run with the headset off. If you guys can tell me in chat if stuff is uh, too loud, too quiet. Um, I'm not at my desk, so I'm going to have to actually pause the game and come back to fix that. Also, no webcam here. I don't have one set up in the area where I'm using the headset, so maybe it'll be something I'll try to correct in the future if this works. Okay, I think I have this ready to go. I'm gonna go sit down. I'm gonna be very dependent on y'all in chat to tell me if there's a problem. I can't see OBS or anything. So if you uh, notice any issues, please go ahead and tell me. Timer might be off a bit as I run back to Okay. Get these controllers on. Now, I think this game is totally seated. I do have a separate seat here. But if this works, that'll be a good sign because I do have a open space like a play area for like a, a walking game um it does look like i need to make chat slightly uh translucent so let me do that real fast this isn't something you guys can see at all but it's way too solid for me right now that's more like it Okay, you can't see chat, you see the game, you don't see any kind of like Steam VR pop-ups on top of it. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's give this a try. So let's calibrate sitting forward here and go. Okay. I like these controllers, the, the Valve Index controller. It's kind of cool. So I think if I have to train these so that it knows where my fingers are first, right? Andrea was having this when she was using this for that science outreach event she was using this for. Okay, so if my finger's pointing, I can flip these? Ah, yes. Isn't modern technology something? Fancy. Test, test. One, two, three. Test, test. One, two, three. Do you copy? Okay, so I think I'll turn the Listen subtitles on. I guess I usually do. Can I grab this thing? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, with translator enabled, a card will appear when holding objects with text on them. Okay, that's probably unnecessary. So I'm going to kind of throw this away. Nice. That's kind of cool. Um, so in my testing, there is an opening cutscene that plays. I haven't watched it. I've skipped past it every time. I'm going to let it play now, but it'll be a good opportunity to tell if the game audio is way too loud or way, way, way too quiet. So I'm going to talk over it a little bit, um, but then once it's done, I'll run back to the computer and make adjustments. So let's go ahead and press this done button. This is probably like really cool in my headset because everything's stabilized in my vision and it might be a nightmare on stream because like the camera's trying not to get sick. <laughs> right, to know there was a song here, that's kind of cool. The narrator was quiet but audible, okay. I'll try to, to sit still. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's made like a streaming mode that tries to stabilize the camera a bit so it's a little less sickening. This is a really cool sequence, actually. I can like look down. <laughs> That's kind of awesome, actually. It's quiet but audible. Okay. Once this is done, I'll get up and turn it up a bit. I think I'm supposed to look up there. <laughs> I really like that they're going for this like James Bond thing, which is per I don't know what this game is, but I assume it's like a death trap escape room spy puzzle thing. Actually, <laughs> it's pretty great.
Nice. I expect you to this is a really cool opening. I feel like it's worth it just to see this cool ass opening. <laughs> This game is expected to be entirely seated, right? Like, there's no standing portions. I have room to stand, but looking into it, it sounds like it's all seated. Okay, cool. I would do it at my desk. That'd be way more convenient, but there's so much shit at my desk. I can't... I don't have room to... Like, you need a lot of depth to be able to, like, reach in and push stuff. I was finding and testing, so... All right, this might be horrible, but I'm gonna try to get up to without the taking the headset off and go turn the audio up. Let's see what happens when I start walking out of range here. I have no doubt. Your new implants allow you to use telekinetic abilities to manipulate the world around you. Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old fashioned way, fumbling for it after our third martini. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Try leaning left. Hopefully that fixed it. I don't know. Knocking things over. Sometimes Apparently I lean left successfully. In both directions. Try leaning right now. Oh god, I lost chat. Oh wait, no, there it is again. <laughs> Come now, don't be shy. Yeah, like more to your right. Right, because uh, Snake Eater is Bond music, right? It's still now cute though. I get what they were going for. Let's move on to dexterity. Press the button under your index finger. Index finger. No idea how you even possibly saw Discord. What is happening? So did it pop up because there was a message or what What seemed to happen? Like was, just so I understand in case it happens again. I ha I'm running Discord right now so y'all can hear me. We have secret ways of knowing if you're touching the trigger button, so don't touch it. You'll need to extend your actual index finger to point and press a button on the radio to your it left. It popped up at the time I pulled the trigger. Oh no, okay. Let me, uh, I don't think I can pause the game. Let me take the headset off and try to figure out what the hell is happening with that. Like I said, every problem I've had with this, I've tested this like seven times now. And every time something breaks, it's something new that broke. So let me try to figure that out. God forbid you don't see Discord again. Praying. We have secret ways of knowing if you're touching the trigger button. So don't touch it. You'll need to extend your actual index finger to put my hands back on. Hold on. On the radio to your left. Yes, that big boxy thing is a radio. Oh my God, it worked. That's quite satisfying. Index finger is beyond your approach, agent. But what about your ability to press the grip button beneath your middle finger? Yeah. It seems you have a grip on those controls. Ah. Uh... I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up using the grip or trigger button. Cryptic note. If you don't pick up my note, you'll never read my clever message. Wait, where did you say the note it was? was? Your middle finger for the grip button or index finger. Oh god, did I drop it on the floor? Oh no! Okay, I gotta move my chair back. <laughs> oh god, it's all the way down there. What have I done? Okay. You seem to have dropped. Oh, there. Thanks, game. Items from your desk. Thanks for respawning it for me there. That precious energy for sitting in the field. <laughs> Must have happened when I was moving stuff earlier. All right. Good. Now, I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors, but what the hell? Pick up the lighter on your left and use your left hand to press the Y button, or right hand to press the B button to light it. Use Y or B to burn the note. It looks like Chad is frozen, which is not a good sign. Excellent. 
I'm going to check on that here in a second. Like I said, I expected about an hour of problems here. Oh, no, there it goes. You can pick up the object by using the grip button. Pick up the object. Push forward to aim. Okay. Got it. Cute. Now that you have the target, pull the thumbstick toward you or... That's cool. While still holding the target with the grip button. Let go of the thumbstick and use your thumb to press the A button. That's the button closer to you. So everything the seems to be hover in the air. Try working to better now. With a fake plant to your left. Oh, cool. Well okay, done. I can like paste I it in the air. Afford real plants, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to well everything else. Okay, now, thank you. Try to hover another target over the chair in front of you. Um, right. This is a neat little mechanic. Doing their best to make the VR make sense. Okay. Excellent work. Got it. Let's try one more if you're feeling frisky. Hover the third target over the round table to your right. Okay. So grab. Yoink. Got it. Okay. No problem. Now, there's only one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two if you count placing them. Pick up the gun next to you and try shooting a target by pressing the oh, that's B kinda cool. or Y button with your thumb. B, really? That's not what I would expect. You think it would be the, the trigger, shot. right? Now, try to shoot another target. You're being yeah. graded. This is where my stigmatism gets me in trouble. Only one I see two guns in front of my you face here. This rigorous test. All right. Pass the test. Yeah. Now. I, I did it by closing one eye. Compartments will be instrumental in navigating the various desks you may encounter on your dangerous missions. Grab I love all the like open right desks. Sit and dangerously. Open. It contains more details about your implant. My God. Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide reel from the projector after you retrieve your new mission. I see. The door. New missions will arrive through the, the door. Slides, okay. Grab your first mission from the door. Got it. Okay. Well Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. Uh, what is this? All right, there's all that shit we were just looking at. Okay. So we take out spy training and we get the rid of that shit. I feel like that's 90% of the joy of VR is that kind of crap. Okay, that's cool. Feels pretty good. This mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes and cars in airplanes. I do. Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. We need you to infiltrate the plane. Zanzibar land. Off, gain access to the vehicle held within and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height. So we're almost positive you won't die. Okay. Press the start button to begin your mission. So I know for the future I'm doing this, you know, for lots of reasons. But a lot of it is I want to know that this works for future VR games like... Do you hear a lot of background noise, like the cats running around or me breathing? Hopefully you don't hear me breathing. Oh, this is cool. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It okay, cool, thank you. high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable awesome. I'm doing a really janky Naturally, thing to get the audio to from the headset to Discord, and then you guys are hearing the Discord audio. You may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. Balti cannon? Reset system. Okay. All right. I think I kind of I get where they're going at with this. So is there something in the glove compartment? Oh, I got to reach way the fuck over for that. Damn. All right. So we got what looks like a... Switchblade. Set that down. Whole bunch of money. Which is useless, I assume. I don't know, like, how it, I get it, like, I get VR, I've, I've been skeptical of VR before, they're like, what, it's just 
a novel way to control the camera, right? There's not really anything you can do in VR that you can't do elsewhere. But these, the index controllers, the, the knuckle controllers or whatever, feel so much cooler than like the Quest ones. Because you actually like, you know, grab your hand around it and there's a bit of force feedback to tell that you're actually holding something. It, it, it's neat. I don't know if it translates to watching somebody play it, but... Oh, hey. Can I light this? That would be kind of cool. <laughs> sure can. There's an achievement for that. That's pretty awesome, actually. Smoking may cause a slow and painful death. Okay, I'm going to burn the car down. Oh, God! Oh, God! Uh, shit. Uh... Did I lock the door? Where's the... Oh, no. I'm so fucked. Something on fire sounds. Oh, I'm so fucked. This is real bad. <laughs> hey, there's a gun. Get the gun. Oh, God. I'm actually pushing against the... Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> Is the telekinesis mostly there to account for the fact that I'm not supposed to be able to get up and grab it, but if I did get up, I could just... Like, earlier when I had the telekinesis, the, um... Uh... The target, could I have just also gotten up and walked over there and grabbed it, too? Okay, I see. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, there we go. like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going How on. How to arm your bomb. Don't shoot through the window, we've learned. So if we drive... Okay. Faulty cannon... There is stuff outside this window here. Can I... Okay, but I need to be able to get out of the window to get to any of it, right? We don't know what those switches do. I'm going to press all the buttons here. They do things. I need to be able to get the um, screwdriver that's outside the window, I think. But there's poison gas outside. So how do I get to it? And I have a time limit, right? Okay, I see. So I, I could reach over and actually open it manually, or I could use this, I guess. Or money. Is this an openable thing, I wonder? Hello. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. I love the little achievements they give you. Don't you think? Shut up. <laughs> Smoke gas. Okay, that's fine and good. More money. Okay, I think I'm getting the handle. Uh, the handle on um, using. Oh, what about, what's up here? Hello. Auto-deploy parachute included. Okay. The telekinesis feels weird. I keep wanting to just grab stuff, but... Oh, hello. That's nice. Should have thought about doing that earlier. I don't know what that's for yet. All right, the engine has been started. Intruder detected. Present eye for retina scan. This is... Oh, God. <laughs> I actually physically dodged it? That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? Oh, yeah. How to arm your bomb. Next message. Sure. There is an urgent matter we must discuss. Oh, here's the bomb. I see. You'll need to cut those wires, Agent. How to arm your bomb. So we do it in the reverse order? Oh, yeah, let's just make sure we throw the bomb everywhere. That's good. Okay, so. 
blue, green. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. This game's pretty sweet. I see why you like it. Please focus on getting the car out of the plane. Okay. Focus on getting the car out of the plane. Sure. Um, car started. Honestly, Agent, we want the car in one piece. Nothing short of an explosion is going to make a dent in that cargo door. An explosion, you say? Okay. Well, I know I still need to get that goddamn <sighs> screwdriver from outside. Some more money in the back seat, apparently. There's money everywhere. I don't need any of this shit. All right, so I think if I go into reverse... Bunch of fragile stuff around me here. Death. I have the gun in the back seat, which isn't super useful to me. I don't need that. I love that I was able to dodge the laser. That's pretty funny. Like, just kind of instinctively went to go do that. Okay. All right. That's bad. All right. Um. Up. Up. Open. Open. Did I get it? Oh my god, I did it. Okay. All right, everything's fine. So, cool. I should have Andrea play this. I think she would dig this. What the fuck am I doing? There's shit everywhere. <laughs> this is an absolute mess. Master reset. System resetting. Weapons online. Okay. Uh, buttons? Oh, okay. Well, um, are we talking about this guy? Because that would be kind of cool to get to reuse that. That's pretty neat. Deploying scorpions. What? Snake door, Roger. Next message. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Zor. This is uh, Roy Reynoldson. Uh, I'm the uh, general manager of the Seven Seasons Hotel, and uh, I just wanted to take the opportunity to apologize personally to you for the fiasco last night. Um, our, uh, our, our staff was not prepared uh, for your arrival. Certainly, uh, as you point out, reservations are not necessary for a man of your... Need to put those smoke grenades in there? Is that the problem? Uh, just a little mistake on that part from our staff. Uh, for that, I apologize. And uh, um, as you know... Nice. A bit unconventional. Anywhere, uh, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. <laughs> that game, that was really fun. That was really fun. I think it uh, justified the VR too. Like stuff like having to physically dodge from the laser is pretty cool. But I believe hard work is its own reward, don't you? Was this game made entirely for VR? Because I feel like that would explain it, right? Like, a lot of the other stuff I've seen that's VR is like, oh, they backported VR onto something. And that worked amazingly for, like, Super Hot. But I feel like Super Hot's one of the only games where it's going to nail that hard, you know? Yeah. That's really cool. I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing oh, that's cool. That, I suppose. Keep it up. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A Make it rain. Oh, okay. Zor's car phone messages. Were Drunk from driving. A pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. And dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. Okay. Anyway, your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready. What is this one? Oh, language settings. Okay. Is the uh, subtitles okay? They're not distracting or anything? I'm going to set my building on fire, aren't I? All right. Operation Squeaky Clean. Got it. Zor's people recognize you now, so you'll be going undercover for this mission. I hope you're not scared of heights. 
Data retrieved from Zor's car confirms information linked to us from a Dr. Lincoln. We have also heard news that Zor's lieutenant, Daniel Sands, has been researching a super virus. We need you to infiltrate the lab and destroy that virus. Press start. Okay. Done. I saw a post about that, Leon. Someone was joking that, like, the biggest lie in the history of gaming is the I understand button in Vicky 3. We know Zor wants revenge on the agency, but this is a tad extreme. Get into that lab, and I'll walk you through making an antivirus. It feels pretty good. There are certain things where, like, grabbing it with the, the knuckle controller and then pressing the button just feels outstanding. Some things feel a little weird, but... Oh, God. Well, my bad. Oh, God damn it! Oh, Jesus Christ! Well, I'm gonna die. Security online. ID card required. I don't have an ID card. I'm sorry. Getting an authorized antivirus research. Got it. Oh, I'm like on a window. Oh, this is pretty cool. Huh. There's some really cool settings in this game. I'm down with that. Okay. Uh, what do we got in here? Maybe I'm actually... Oh. Whoops. Read it quick. Okay, so there's a laser I have to care... Okay, so I spray with the bottle, presumably. I understand, I think. Yeah, th this game is kind of awesome. I get it. Alright, so I do think... that I can... break the glass. It did play a success sound. Thank you. ...is creating a deadly super virus. We know Zol wants revenge on the agency, but... We really should ask laser manufacturers to stop selling to obviously insidious individuals. Like, the laser thing's great. I feel like when you make a game like this, you got to sit down and ask yourself, like, okay, what do we do, right? And this is one of the things you definitely got to do. Spraying to reveal lasers. It's kind of cool. All right. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, make sure the items, that you just pick it up and you spray it and it does what you expect it to do, right? Which is why the gun felt a little bit weird, but right, it sounded like they didn't really have a choice with what they chose to do. Uh, toxic rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Relief o -matic. I think I can safely get that out of there, right? There's a weird, like, 3D effect with the lasers. It kind of makes it hard for me to see. Because I have, like, astigmatism or something. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. We're fine. This is fine. It's fine. That didn't sound fine. Oh, right. Shit. Grab it. Grab it. My foot's in the way. <laughs> there we go. Grab it. Okay. Let me get the other one out of there now. Right, and I haven't had to float anything, but I can just cause stuff to hover anywhere. Like, pin it in the air, basically. Nope! Oh god, oh god. Nope. Uh, why don't you just stay right there, buddy. Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna drop this off the platform. I can feel it already. It's gonna happen. Alright. What the hell am I feeling? I assume I need to do something with that. 
that guy right there, chain rattling. You can look for interactables, I guess. That was a little cheaty. Security online. ID card required. The ID card still. Pneumatic tubes in the back. Oh, that also reveals them? That's pretty cool. Okay. In case you missed the spray bottle, I guess. More money. Or mommy. Okay, I wonder if that's going to be a, a code at some point. Sit there. Thank you. Oh, you guys can't see the lasers at all? Do you guys, do you guys not even see lasers at all? Or do you see them at certain angles separate from the one that I'm looking at? It's interesting. Yeah, I can't make out the whole thing. Like here I can just kind of see, like I'm getting different lasers in each eye, which is part of it. And the amount of laser I can see depends on where I'm looking. Yeah, I can only see parts of them too. I see, oh, there's my card. That's very exciting. And a whole bunch of money. Can I make it rain now since I didn't last time? I probably have to cut the probably another use for the knife from last time. Gonna regret this. No, it doesn't work. I need a knife. Ah! <laughs> the ability to set stuff down is greatly hindered. Okay. ID card. Yeah, right. That's kind of cool, though. I don't feel safe doing this. Good. Thank you, game. That's nice of you. <laughs> All right. Uh... Full disclosure, Agent. I don't really know how to make an antivirus. However, Sean in HR says you tested well in chemistry. So give it a go. Save millions of lives and the drums too. Blow yourself up. Where do you know this is just lore? I think. All right. So, definitely on the money here. Just confirm really quick that there are no more lasers. Okay. This is going to correspond to her. So it's regolite, nanite, sanite have colors that I need. Oh, wow. Gnarly. Okay. Areas under surveillance. Oh, you go... Jesus Christ. I keep wanting to set it on my lap. <laughs> the game doesn't render my lap, though. Get out of here. Here, I'm going to put you safely down here where I can reclaim you later. You too, although maybe I'm going to end up having to use you later. God. Don't roll off the... Fine. It's fine. All right. Uh, don't think I need you again, but just in case. The hell is this? Security laser installations. I don't think I can actually open this. No. Useless. Trash. Garbage. Get out of here. Evil chemistry. Advanced study. It's pretty good. Blofeld. Uh -huh. Secret formulas in you. All right, that's all pretty useless. Like a Bunsen burner? It is a Bunsen burner, okay. Surprisingly flammable. Sure. 
Results now, morals later. There's just money in there as far as I can tell. Oh, interesting. I guess that's been doable the whole time. All right, can I like peek in here? Don't think the game wants me to do that, but I wanted to see if there was anything I could notice. No, okay. Horrible error buzzing noise. All right, we got these. Why is the yellow one? Hmm. So I know the yellow one is one of the ones I need from her picture. Uh, what I don't know is if one of these dissolves, let's see, unobtainium arsonium, green is arsonium. Hmm. Go right here. Check you later. I uh, don't think you have anything useful, so you're going to go. Bye. Don't think you're very useful, so you're going to go. I need my space here. Get out of here. Um, let's put you somewhere. There for now. Don't move. Okay. So we already have pink. Looks like those do a thing. What happens if I just mix all three of these? Am I just going to instantly explode? Yes, the answer was yes. Bad chemistry, <laughs> fair. Oh, there's checkpoints, I think. Oh no, there's not checkpoints. That's okay, I can get back to where I was really fast. We believe Zoraxis is creating Shit. a deadly super. Hopefully I didn't need that. No Zora wants revenge on the agency, uh. but this is a tad extreme. Get into that lab, and I'll walk you through making an antivirus. I think the lasers the randomly. Laser Wait, really? Where? Now oh, well, I'm dead. I think they randomize the lasers a bit. So you can't brute force it, which is nice. Okay. Don't drop the thermos this time in case we need it. We believe Zoraxis is creating a deadly super virus. We know Zora wants revenge on the agency, but this is a tad extreme. Get into that lab, and I'll walk you through making an antivirus. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, you can get, okay. It's fine. We're fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Full disclosure, Agent. I don't really know how to make an antivirus. refill o -matic. Sean in HR says you tested well in chemistry. So give it a go. Save millions of lives and Does that... don't blow yourself up. Okay, it gives me a new thing every time. Okay, cool. So if I set these guys down... Um... I'm guessing I have to, like, dissolve the chain. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So what happens if I... Hmm. I think these are the only things I care about, right? Killium, unobtainium... Botanum, blood. Yeah. It's basically just a color puzzle, which I, I get. Uh, so we can just try other things, I guess. Whoops. You set this somewhere where I'm not going to lose it. Whatever. Okay. Try all the pure elements first. 
bet there's another clue as to what color does this. Okay. Let's try purple. Interesting. I thought I got a purple last time. Oh, purple is its own color. Okay, well. That doesn't do it. Interesting. So they do all break on that, but I probably need to mix them into something first, I guess. Um, hmm. If I mix bad things, I blow up and die. So that's not good. We're not a fan of that. Uh, try using one. I think like this is going to be death. I'm going to die of virus now. Hmm. Let's try shooting it. I feel like that's boring, but... Bummer. I was really hoping that was going to work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can pin things in the air to, like, preserve them, I guess. Yeah. Feels weird. I guess I understand why it lets you do it, but... So I could set this up and just pin it, I guess. Okay. That makes sense. So I've tried each of the individual colors. I probably have to find some way to mix them. Um, numbers are maybe helpful. These do correspond 17 and 17, but I already have the colors. Those might just be an ant. You can shake this. Oh, God, that's probably a bad idea. Um, I feel like what I should do is try to look for more lore objects. I bet there's a lore object that helps me out here. Yeah, that makes sense, like floating this guy over here. I like that it kind of like actually hovers in place instead of just getting frozen, you know? Didn't see this. Ate the sandwich. Neutralize the super virus. Burn after reading. Not super helpful. Let's see. Anything else that's like an asset that gives me clues here. I might have to ask for a tip here in a second. I feel a teensy bit stuck. Um, I was really hoping it would be green because that's the one that I didn't start with. Maybe I just didn't. No, I guess it's not. Uh... Pretty sure this is not very helpful. If you guys want to talk amongst yourselves and come up with a low spoiler hint. I have an idea of what my next step is. I think I have to have pink, yellow, and red and put them in here and then get the output. But I don't know if it's just like there's an art asset that I'm missing that gives me a clue as to what I can do to dissolve the, the chain. Um, that's what I'm looking for here. I guess maybe I can ask questions. Uh, does the parcel solution to this involve mixing colors in any way? Um, yes or no? It does. Okay. So... Oh, I bet it's based on the numbers, huh? Seven. I guess I can just try stuff and see if I explode again. Boom. Fuck. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. Is there is there another art asset that I'm missing, or is this just experimenting? No, oh, that's interesting. Shit. We believe Zoraxis is creating a deadly super virus. We know Zor wants revenge on the agency, but this is a tad extreme. Get into that lab, and I'll walk you through making an antivirus. Laser tripped. Fine. Security disabled. Full disclosure, Agent, I don't really know how to make an antivirus. However, Sean in HR says you tested well in chemistry. So give it a go. Save millions of lives and don't blow yourself up. Making sure there's nothing else in there, you know? I guess it could have something to do with the Bunsen burner. I haven't used that very much. Sandwich again. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, that's what I was missing. It, it fell down. I didn't see it before. Okay. Hooray! Only effective on copper. Okay, the answer, we're here. We're, we're moving again. I just literally didn't see it in there. Thank God. Okay. So. Reset. Only effective on copper. So uh, we've established. Gi is blue. R is green. I think I was actually close to brute forcing it a second ago. It's Gi R Y. Hello. Huzzah! First try. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that, folks. I did not see that. It was like, let's see if I can replace it here. Quick. Oh, fuck. Naturally. Do do. Just, oh, right. Is this what they want? All clear. They bought the window washer routine. It seems you have a job if this whole secret agent thing falls through. <laughs> that shit fucking rules. I love it. I was like, why is this here? Okay. That's fucking great. Big fan. Yeah, this, this game's really good. Okay. Uh, explode. Toxic gas. We want pink. Right. Yeah. And then yellow. Never mind, there's no window, it's fine. God, do I need to send it over there somehow? There we go. Neutralization attempt blocked. Playing pre recorded message. Found a conscience, despite our threats. Well, I'm afraid you won't have a chance to use your antivirus. We're changing the timetable and launching the super virus today. Well, that's bad. Agent, if that rocket launches with an active uh, virus, millions okay. will die. Neutralize that virus now. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, G is blue. R. This is great. I love how they, like, create urgency in this game. Oh, God. Oh, God, what have I done?
Hey, wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a close call. <laughs> Holy shit. Well done, Agent. There will be no <laughs> outbreak today. Let's get you out of there. Awesome. Yeah, I think that this game leverages VR really well. It also it leverages its theme well. There's a sequel to this too, right? Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. Whoops. While not discreet, you did get the job done. Though I suppose discretion went out the window with Zor's explosive dirigible over the Caymans last year. Ah, the prettiest explosions are always the messiest. I'm actually super curious now, like, if I stand up, I'm going to try this real quick. It's probably a huge mistake. You're probably going to hear clattering. Okay, it says this is the end of my play space, so I can't get over there anyway, even if I wanted to. That's cool. I can still get this. All right. I feel like callously throwing things away is like the beautiful Caribbean. But this is no vacation. I already told you we can't afford that. You'll need to destroy Zor's top secret submarine, but don't count on using an escape pod. We find those things at the bottom of the ocean all the time. The people inside are usually pretty dead. <laughs> Everything's still working okay on y'all's end. You can hear me, hear the game. Don't see any weird windows. Right on. Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis really loud. escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Okay, thanks. I kept the pin for myself. Well, that seems bad. That doesn't seem great. I'm wanting this. Oh, you're right. I can freeze it in the air, right? Oh, nope. I have to pin it before I... Okay, got it. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to hold it in place. Okay, let's get this guy first. Do I need to use the grenade to bust that open? Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Let's try this again. I think I need to pick this up separately, unfortunately. It's already too late. Yeah, I need to have the other one in. Right. No, I got it. I just need to be able to get in to get to this first. I need to see if there's something else I can pick up to break it. There we go. Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. Primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Okay, cool. That was a cool little puzzle. I dig it. Got a flare gun up here. Uh, get rid of the water first. Alright. Oh, 
thought I was actually physically blocking it for a second. There's still too much water in there, okay. What else do we got here? Can I look inside there? Not really. Probably don't want to launch this thing while I'm in here, you know? That'd probably be a bad idea. Can I close this? That would help. Okay. The easier solution. Water is still sloshing. Is there a way for me to get the water out of here? That's bad. There must be a way for me to get the water out of there. Um... Sludge. Always a fan of sludge. Well, we're dead. But I found the third piece of paper. Yeah, looking between the grenade and the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Seven two five three eight. Turn dial the number. We need to close this regardless. Primary oxygen, reserve oxygen. Oxygen level adequate. Okay, so we got sealants, which is interesting. What do I need to seal, though, is the question. Oh, I see. Cute. Okay. That's what I need to seal. I like all the problems they give you here. It's pretty great. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Uh, basic. All right. So let's get the sealant regardless. Have that at the ready. Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. Maybe the only thing worth getting in there is some... Try this again. Hole secure. <laughs> this is like everything I like about uh, keep talking and nobody explodes, but like perfect for a single player campaign, you know? Uh, what am I doing with my life? It would actually be cool if they did a version of keep talking and nobody explodes that was built for VR, you know? Because I, I mean, I've heard there's a VR version, but it sounds like it's exactly the same as the one you can just play normally. And it's very clear that the stuff that's cool about this game is cool because it's VR. Okay, that's all taken care of. This is still a problem. I have this guy. Uh, what, if anything, can I screw drive? That seemed productive. What am I putting in the pump though? Ah. I see. Gotcha. Okay. That doesn't help me, though. So is there another one? Fuel is the problem. Okay, I understand now. So how do I get fuel from here into here is the question. First of all, I need to grab this guy, I think. A little gas cap. Can I like collect? Oh, it's not a. God damn it. <laughs> Is there a little like cup I can find somewhere? Another gun. Don't think I want to open that. Okay, 
Some oxygen. Ballast, reserve. I wonder if I can just like use this to like try to deflect it into place. Doesn't have that high of a. Where does it usually go? Hmm. Is it actually draining fuel when I do that? No. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Didn't see this before. Aha! And a moldy sandwich. And a can opener. Get an achievement for that. I am going to try to get Andrea to play this. I think she would find this cool. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm really impressed at how well the, like, fantasy for this game is corresponds with a fun puzzle game, you know? You kind of get the feeling. Like, I feel like you could do a version of this game that's almost a direct ripoff, but it's like a saw puzzle, right? Like a horror version of this. Yeah, this one is a saw puzzle. Ben, you scared the shit out of me. It's rubbed up against my leg. You know, ankle deep in fuel right now, it's fine. Right, the fucking yes. Would you like to vent oxygen? Vent, 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 venting oxygen. Let's not vent oxygen. Reserve oxygen. Oh god, I need a thing. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> All right, I gotta be ready for that phase then. That gets pretty nasty. Okay. Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zaraxxus escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. All right, there's a lot of shit I had to do here. One of them was this, okay. Oh, right, I gotta deal with this first, don't I? Escape pod drained. Cool. Now, do need to figure out whatever this is. Everything's fine, nothing is ruined, it's all fine. There was another one, was it? There it is. Seven, two, five, three, eight. Okay, and I need to figure out what I'm doing here before it starts venting oxygen. I wonder if that's just like a thing that happens once the fire is too bad, you know? Um, I also wonder No, it doesn't become a fire hazard until later. Okay. So, we got this thing over here. 
I don't think I can use it again though. I think it's only works on that thing. So this is our reserve oxygen. And it's currently not being used. I need like a wrench or something. And I want to find that before I do anything else or I'm going to have a bad time here. So I got this guy. Is this going to work? Oh my god. Okay, so we can switch to that in a second. That's cool. I'm glad that that thing actually gets a use. That's pretty fun. All right, so next up, we got to get the fuel. I kind of like that this adds stakes to the next part, that you don't want to have to do this again. Like, I feel like it's hard to get that to feel right, but... making you redo stuff instead of giving you checkpoints, you know, but here, I think it works. Yeah, right. As soon as you know what to do at the beginning, you can basically speed run to where you were last time, I agree. I need to find where this code is to abort. I don't know if that's not going to happen until later. Come on. So close. Maybe be ready with you. Didn't even notice that happening last time. Oh god. What the fuck? Oh god. Uh, I don't know how to fix that one. <laughs> That's a new one. Hmm. Is there a faster way to do the, the oil that maybe I'm neglecting? Welcome to our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. This is an emergency. Please start engine manually. No worries. All right, overheating engine. I don't want to like pour water in there. I don't want to like stop it from running. Do I have anything that would like cool it down? Fuck. Hold secure. Hold secure. I guess I could try to let the the water run on it again. I bet that's what it is. Okay. That seems kind of bad, but... Yeah, I, I think I'll try that. 
there's a faster way. Um, I wonder if it has to do with just like... I liked my idea before of placing this flat thing down here to like try to like bridge to <laughs> get it to lead on the thing, but I don't think that actually works, sadly. Oh, can I take this whole... I could take this whole thing off the wall. That would be super swell. I don't think I can. All right, let's hunt around here. Another flare gun and some money, as far as I can tell. Fuel. That thing's also slightly ruptured. No, it's not an interactable. Hmm. All right. Well, I might ask for a tip on that one. I've I've done this a couple times now. Um, if you have a hint as to what could help me do it faster. It's nice that it works the slow way, but it's it's quite slow in case it takes me a while to do later parts. I always lose the third one. There it is. Okay. Interactable in the vicinity of the fuel wheel that I haven't noticed. Okay, hold on. Air fuel. Is there a main fuel? This is the one that's busted, right? Hmm. That's only for the reserve fuel, right? Oh, fucking hell. Thank you. I had no idea I could turn that. Okay. Thank you. I would have I would have done it with the bottle every single time. I like that they give the bottle as the option. It would be cool if they did some testing to see if someone tried, like, this thing to try to redirect it. I think that would be kind of neat if they were able to make it happen, you know? Yeah, that's way better. Okay, let's go. Don't do that. Oh god. Warning. Engine overheating. Self 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 to distraught in 90 seconds. Enter override code to bolt. Turn dial to number. Set Q band. Set Q band if odd. Five. Five digit code required. Ooh. Oh, it was odd. Fuck. Right, right, right. Okay, I can get there fast now, though. I was panicking because of the time limit there. Jeez, this is freaking challenging. Welcome to our oh, apparently I was able to open that. Okay. Works for me.
kind of wild how fast you can go when you know what to do, and I can like have that running while I'm working on this, you know. Hole secure. There we go. Yeah, exactly, and kind of know what's out of your vision, right? I imagine that's part of it too. Shit, I don't have the thing now. Ah, hurry. Self destruct in 90 seconds. Enter override code to abort. Oh god, I already switched it. Great. Seven five two five something fuck fuck. Five digit code required. Three. God, I can't really does not want to turn. Five digit code nine. Eight. Eight. Seven, no, don't block my view. Six. Jeez, they're really good at making that tight, especially if you fuck up and <laughs> put these in the wrong place. Good lord. We hope your escape pod experience was a pleasant one. Please gather all your belongings, open the hatch above you, and signal your rest. Our communications are back Have online. Have a nice day. The signal. <laughs> ah, there you are, Agent. We thought we'd lost you to the wilds of the Caribbean. We're approaching your position now. Yay! Good lord. <laughs> I hate to say I told you so. Uh, no, wait. Uh, I love to say that. I told you so, Agent. That was a really good level. Your love of escape pods clearly clouded your judgment. I, I'm curious, like, I talk about the whiteboarding, right? When they're just, they're thinking about their plan and they're like, okay, so what, what do we have to do for this kind of like James Bond story? It's like, okay, we got to have the, like, the submarine... We gotta have one at, probably at the end where we're on a table with a laser on us or something. The coordinates you transmitted from the sub before you gave it the old. I don't want to risk dying. Ta -ta, point to a hunting lodge in the Alps. Well, don't ask me why submarine coordinates lead to the mountains. I couldn't even begin to want to understand it. Burn after reading. Lesson one. It's pronounced. Okay, you collect double. stuff here. Winter break. Uh, I tried. <laughs> the Alps are known for scenic vistas, prestigious skiing, and hidden hunting lodges. I'll give you one guess as to which one you'll be enjoying during your trip. If you guess the hidden hunting lodge, you win the grand prize which is a trip to a hidden hunting lodge. We believe Zor's working on a secret machine. Infiltrate the lodge and find that machine. Secret machine hype. <laughs> this is fucking great. You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear the Burn the painting. I've played just like this one to any agent who finds the new machine Zor is working on. If I were you, plenty of Resident Evil games. I guess not. Okay. 
or money. Normal and fine thing to do. Toxic gas is flammable. Turn to open, really. Is this like behind me somewhere? I appreciate that they don't require you to look behind you too much in this. Restricted area. Alarm triggered. Oh, Deer that's gas bad. Activated. Deer gas. <laughs> Hell yes. That's fine. This is fine. That's fine. It's fine. Hooray for flammable toxic gas. Okay. Uh, you think that's what he has to do when he opens that door? Wow, an orb. A nearly perfect golden orb with Z's on it. Okay. Crystal cores. Okay. So I need three of those. Neutralize security force. Profit. What does this button do? Machine access restricted. Insert control cartridge. Control cartridge, you say. I think that another thing that's nice about this game is that the controls are pretty reliable. I was only the only time I've ever been struggling with the controls was in the uh, that last mission when I was trying to turn the dials, and it was probably just because I wasn't sure what they wanted me to do, right? But other than that, it's generally been pretty solid. That's fun. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay then. Got my little floating orb here. That guy is going to shoot something at some point. <laughs> oh, the gems actually matter. Okay. Interesting. Ah, okay. Gotcha. You wouldn't do the book trick twice, Toy Woody. This really is a must read in the evil industry. Sad I dropped it. What's this? Be cool to have one of these or like you have to take out the picture frame or something. All right, hold up. What's the must read in the evil industry? Just shoot them. <laughs> Common pitfalls of eccentric villainy. That's fucking funny. Good. I'm glad they added that. Hey, I got an achievement for that. Nice. It's fine. I won't reprimand you for destroying a decanter of 16-year-old single malt scotch. It doesn't bother me. Three. Shit, I already killed the... I'm guessing this is part of the clue here. Hold on. Ah, fake out. The Zelda puzzle. It's nice that they let you at least do that, you know? I can't get this back after all. It's eight. Okay. I guess I could guess the remaining ones, unless if there's more listed here. Three, eight, something. Is there a penalty for guessing? Is 
actually gonna just do this from here. That's much better. Go in the opposite direction and it's gonna take me. Oh, that's actually worse. Oh God, we don't wanna do that. No, 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 none of this. Use this thing, that's much better. Gonna be three, eight, five. Oh, it's three, eight, six, okay. Was there a six clue elsewhere, or was I supposed to brute force the third one? Brute force against actually, I think that's pretty reasonable if you know two of them. Hello. All right, so let's tell us about the frequencies. This one's the one that's unstable. Got it. What the fuck is this thing? Where would this go? Ah, okay. Control cartridge accepted. Hooray! Voice authentication required. Uh, uh oh. Authentication failure. Deploying bear archer. Oh god. Hide. Oh god, it was something on fire. <laughs> I tried to duck under the table. Wonder if that actually works. You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear the agency is handing out lodges just like this one to any agent who finds the new machine Zor is working on. If I were you, I'd find that machine. Good. Yeah, I think anything that's turning like this I struggle with for some reason. It just doesn't work the way I expect it to, I guess. You do this first since I know it could potentially lead to death. Control card use this as a shield accepted. instead. Voice authentication required. Authentication failure. Deploying bear archer. Don't need to hide, there's explosives. How many of those do you got, bud? Oh god. Okay, I got a different idea now. Oh, it's on my head! <laughs> he does hit you eventually. Cause of death, bear arrow. You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear yeah, I'm expecting a rotary phone, and it's not like this one to any agent quite doing what I expect with that. Working on. If I were you, I'd find that machine. It's jittery compared to other things that aren't jittery, you know? Control cartridge accepted. Voice authentication required. Yo! Authentication failure. Deploying bear archer. Disarmed. Security malfunction. <laughs> Insert data sphere override. Bear disarmed. Oh yeah. Uh I know what that is. Give me a second. I need to get back in my chair. I'm still like hiding underneath the desk here. Hold on one second. Door alarm triggered. Deer gas activated. Let me actually do a better job of doing that here. Okay. Hooray. This doesn't build well. Normal and find. 
Okay, I gotta be a little bit faster next time. Zor's new device oh no! appears to have the power to affect gravity. You must destroy that machine. Bad. It's real bad. Um aligned. It's green. Does it just destroy it by putting this in all of them, or is there a trick to each of them, I wonder? Right, this is a nice one, because it actually requires you to use this. What it started with, right? Oh, I see. Crystal unstable. Machine malfunction. Laser defense mode one. That seems bad. We don't like. Certainly knows you're there now. We're sending a helicopter to extract you. That machine must be destroyed before it arrives. Can I use the book to protect myself here? Christ. Really funny. I'm like slinking back in my chair as much as I can here. Crystal unstable. Laser defense mode two. Oh God! Laser no defense mode two. But it can't get close until you destroy. I'm working it. on it. I'm working on it. You're going to die, Andrea. That's not funny. <laughs> oh, God. Lasers. Okay. This is insane. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The last one is way harder. Crystal unstable. Oh god, they're both coming. Oh shit. Yeah, I'll have to do a webcam for the next one. It was too complicated to set up. I'm seriously leaning all the way back in my chair. Nicely done. There's nothing like an explosive finish to foil a villain's plans once and for all. Now, Thank you. Oh. It's a shame to see. Good lord. I wonder if it was enough for me to just duck under the laser if I also I had to knows, block it. As everyone knows, you are my third favorite field operative, and as such, I managed to find some money in the budget for that vacation you always mention after nearly dying. Grab the new reel in the door, and we'll be off and running. Vacation first class. Yeah, whatever. Now, because I have a passing fondness for you, I've booked you on a luxurious train ride across India, from Delhi all the way to the vacation wonderland that is Shimla. You can thank me later. Indeed, my fleeting appreciation for you knows no bounds. Enjoy the view. Probably would have been better to have the. Honestly, I'm quite jealous. Ashtray for but that level. Some of us have to keep the world safe while you're off gallivanting across India. Ah, enjoy your vacation. Sure, nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Andrea started like tapping her fingers on my face while I was trying to dodge the lasers. It's 
really you really get immersed in this and you forget that you're like sitting in a chair in a room. I'm sure I look like a complete moron. Attention ladies and gentlemen. The train has run into a, a bit of a problem. But don't worry, we will sort it out and have you moving again shortly. For your safety, please remain in your cabin. There was, I don't know if those three things were there before. I was suspicious because of the, the ink. Russian violinist arrives in Shimla. Like this is a cool gesture to just be able to do, right? Like, I think that only the knuckle controllers can support something like that where I'm just like, instinctively turning it around in my hands like that. It's cool. Man with spear threatens agent. All right, well, first of all, I see, so there's X's here and there's the X's on this thing. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Comfort awaits you. Oh, hey, pneumatic tubes. Whoops. That's not the important thing I dropped. That's the important thing I dropped. All right. On my face. Normal. I see. One. Very cool. You can wear the hat. Uh, that's awesome. I didn't even think about that last time. Oh, you stay in there. I don't know what I'm going to need those for. Stun grenades. Probably. Pretty. I feel like this is familiar from a very specific movie. I can't quite place it, but. Really? You get frames of the desktop with a chat window? How is it frequent enough to be distracting? I have no idea what would be causing that. That's so bizarre. I don't even can't even begin to guess. Well, you can really send stuff far away, huh? Once permission. Okay, I'm really sorry about that. If you keep seeing stuff like that, please tell me. I would hate to not know. Well done. That's perfect. A small favor to ask that has nothing to do with work. This is a vacation after all. <laughs> Oddly enough, a Zor agent is aboard your train and wishes to help us by defecting to our side. It's quite the coincidence that you'd both be on the same train. Really, what are the chances? Find out which... Great job. Not that this is a job. 
Obviously. I'm too fast. Before getting back to enjoying your oh, very God. real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. But it ends up going back to the game eventually? That's so weird. Um, I can try something here. Hold on. It's probably a mistake. Block cursor input. Keep visible. Yeah, I guess I've already done that, so I can't think of anything else to try. It just flickers for a few frames. Okay. This is a cool use of the positional audio with the integrated headphones. Light them up, but not them all. Clues I've left. There are four. Each one found reveals a door. <laughs> I just came up with that. Got it. Oh, how I do enjoy leaving phone messages. Um, since this is an unsecured line. Here's a clever little riddle. Button. Seven, 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 one, one. What's our armored surprise? Stop the train. Cabin to cabin transport will shut off. But the Zor's intel says it's train policy to send a free gift to the rule of an upset customer. So keep bothering room service to override the lockdown. Bother room service. This is a really cool mission. I've liked all the missions so far. I think they all have their own little flair to them. I think I may have triggered it there. Let's see. Something out that door later. Insert parcel into tube, select destination cabin, pull cord, descend. Oh, there's another one back there. Looks like it's... Three horizontal dots? Is that even possible? Maybe there's somewhere else I can do that. I'm not realizing. I just wonder if either of them would work there. I guess it's at an angle. It's because I've got my head cocked there. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. What does this say? My vision is giving me problems. I don't know if it's supposed to be illegible or what. Hmm. Well, that's three. There should be one more in here somewhere. There it is. Cute. Hmm. 
whatever I was doing to trigger the lights. Error of this document is hereby pardoned for crimes committed against the state. Also looks burnable. Maybe not. This is probably a puzzle, but I don't know if it's just the signature or what. No, no change there. Um, hmm. I'm cabin four. Cabin one, one. Star armored sprite. I got that. Still dealing with uh, the situation. Uh, room service is temporarily unavailable. We'll let you know if the I don't think I have anything new I can do with that. I assume I can still get that thing to open, but that's weird because I'm... Make sure there's nothing on this pillow before I toss it. What's that all about? Flame retardant pillow, okay. All right, so I got a bunch of crap on the desk here. Let me try to tease this together. So I don't think I need this anymore. I don't need this anymore. Probably want the stun grenades for something. I probably want to send it to cabin six is my guess. Um, door locked in case of emergency. Oh, didn't they say that if I call the room service enough that it would override that? Let's try it. Okay, so I think what we do is we bother room service a little bunch. There it is. Look at that, a free gift. I couldn't be more jealous of all the fun you're having. Anyway, send the defector something agency related to make contact. Nope. Bye. Wrong button. I probably need to. Oh, it's going to work anyway. Okay. 
<laughs> That's funny. They see it and they send it back to me. Okay, cute. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the train has run into a, a bit of a problem, but don't worry, we will sort it out and have it moving again shortly. For your safety, please remain in your cabin. And then the last one was that one. Well done. I have a small favor to ask that has nothing to do with work. This is a vacation, after all. <laughs> Oddly enough, a Zora agent is aboard your... Great job. Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. Okay. That's this guy. I think also this guy. So, okay, I need to figure out the defector. I need to pay more attention here. Listen to this already. I don't think I need to listen to that again. I think I can just make that happen. I think I had to listen longer before doing the S2, I guess. I know we're about at time, but it took me a lot of time to set up, so I'm going to try to finish this mission at least. At least get to my next deaths. Thank you. Look at that. A free gift. I couldn't be more jealous of all the fun you're having. Anyway, send the defector something agency related to make contact. I guess both of these are a solution, potentially. I guess it's two, but... Unless if there was a thing saying that they were, like, speaking Polish. <laughs> I know it's not one, and I know it's not six. I wonder if I can see the cars from out here or something, the cabins. Hello. That's fucking great. Is that all it is? Robbie's a mixtape. <laughs> Awesome. Listen closely. I'm only going to explain it this was once. Five. 
I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will send you the intel you want. This is a cool mission. Oh, thank you. I can now pursue my music wherever it takes me. The device I sent has what you want. The combination is the date of my birthday. And well, that's bad. I can't believe it. They killed her. Uh, get that device open, Agent. Whoa. Okay, so we gotta find out her birthday first. Got it. Okay, let's be quick here. So there's... For some reason, I can't remember this one ever. We will sort it out and have you moving again shortly. For your safety, please remain in your cabin. Love the mixtape, it's great. job not that this is a job obviously before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it violin shit maybe okay let's see Really? There's something that I'm clicking on the wall that's causing it to flash? That's so weird. I'm really sorry about that, folks. I'm going to have to research it for next time. I hope you're still able to watch and enjoy. Why would that happen, right? <laughs> like, completely bizarre. Especially, I don't know why it would flicker and then come back. Birthday present to herself. Okay. Violinist. Day after Tuesday. So today is Sunday. October 30th. Fuck you, game. So 10.31 is Monday, 11.1 is Tuesday, 11.2 is Wednesday. So 11.2 and then the, fuck, oh God. There's a, can there not be a stain right on there? <laughs> I don't know what I'm expecting here. Not very helpful. Maybe it's maybe it's just eleven oh two. Try that. As long as you're holding down a button on the controller before reverting. Holding down every button right now. You guys getting any flickers? Jealous of all the fun you're having. Anyway, send the defector something agency related to make contact.
11 2. I don't know if I need a year. Listen closely. Oh, that's cool. It changes which year you put it in. This once. <laughs> I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will send you the intel you want. Oh, thank you. I can now pursue my music wherever yeah, it takes me. Too. The device I sent has what you want. The combination is the date of my birthday. And I can't believe it. They killed her. Get that device open, Agent. Isn't it November 2nd? Fuck. Uh, am I mathing wrong? Is today not Sunday? Is this like the previous day's paper? Is that what this thing says? Daily complimentary newspaper. Okay, so... I'm gonna try not to trigger it this time. Let me know if it triggers while I'm doing these lights. I have an idea for a thing to do differently. It triggered? Okay, well my theory is incorrect. But just on those lights and nowhere else? That's so fucking weird. I can't even begin to guess. What's happening with that? Um. Well done. I have a small favor to ask that has nothing. Great job. Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. That a free gift. I couldn't be more jealous of all the fun you're having. Anyway, send the defector something agency related to make contact. Sunday, November or October 30th. Right. She plans to retire the day after Tuesday. Which is Wednesday. So Sunday is October 30th. Monday is October 31st. Tuesday is November 1st. Wednesday is November 2nd. Does anyone disagree? Like, am I doing something stupid there? So you think the password would have to be 11 2. Listen closely. I'm only going to explain this once. I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will send you the intel you want. Let's say daily Thank paper. You. I can now pursue my music wherever it takes me. The device I sent has what you want. The combination is the date of my birthday. And... I can't believe it. They killed her. I... Get that is it 2-11? Oh no, was this game made, is this a British game? I guess also it's... Oh, God damn it! Well done. One last thing. Insert that tape into the reader. It will transmit the defector's intel to us. Perfect. We're receiving the data. Hmm. Transmitting it has apparently alerted Zor's assassins to your position. Good for them. I guess it's like taking place in India, right? So... Uh, r room service. <laughs> ah, shit. I was close. I almost dodged it. I had to get throw that out there faster, I guess. Okay, well, we know what to do. Presumably this is going to cause the screen to flicker again for reasons I can't begin to understand, so I'm sorry about that. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. The train... 
sorted out and have you moving again shortly. For your safety, please remain in your cabin. I have no idea then. Well done. I have a small favor to ask that has... Great job. Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send them something with the agency logo on it. Listen closely. I'm only going to explain this once. I need to know I can trust you. Send me the part. Oh, thank you. I can now pursue my music wherever it takes me. Where the pointer is relative the to the headset or the screen. The That's so strange. The date of my birthday. I can't believe it. Well done. One last thing. Insert that tape into the reader. It will transmit the defector's intel to us. Perfect. We're receiving the data. Hmm. Transmitting it has apparently alerted Zor's assassins to your position. Good for them. Uh, room service. the old gun through the mail slot trick. I used to do that at the office when I was an agent. I was asked to stop. <laughs> oh, God. That's bad. Ooh. I'm dead. <laughs> I think I probably have to wrap it there. Uh, future Marstead, uh, watch the last run to kind of catch up on this uh, this puzzle. Next time you attempt this, though, um, you're going to have to come up with a solution to the spear before they start trying to spear you. So look around and see if you have an idea to deal with the spear. Thank you, Viper, for sharing this game. This game is fun as hell. It's really, really well made. I, I almost set the controllers on the fake table in front of me. <laughs> I'm going to go shut this off and sign off here in a second. Oh my god, Ben is sitting in my streamer chair. Me and streamer Ben over here. All right, this game will return in the future, folks. Thanks.